In the previous lesson, we learned to conduct a motor acceleration analysis in ETAP, and what we have done is to run a static motor acceleration analysis. So, in this lesson, we will learn to conduct a dynamic motor acceleration analysis. And as before, I have said that in order to conduct the dynamic motor acceleration analysis, we will have to provide the motor model equivalent circuit the load model and the inertia so let us enter these values to these motors over here so going to my motor 1 which is a 100 hp motor then i will go to the model option over here and we can either perform a parameter estimation like this so in this case we cannot estimate the machine parameters okay that's fine but i'm going to select a model from the library so for a 100 hp motor i will select this and i will update these values over here and if you have the manu manufacturer data you can use that but uh, here i am going to use the library values over here i will click on update and now we have the equivalent circuit of the motor over here all the values of the resistances and the reactances and over here we have the torque slip cara over here and next I will go to the inertia page over here and enter the inertia values as well. Then I will go to the load page over here then I will add a load model. I will go to the library to pick a load model. I will select this pump over here. So this fills the polynomial curve with the coefficients a1, a2, a3 and a0 over here. So this is the speed torque relation over here. I will click this on OK. And now we can see the torque speed cara of the motor over here. And the torque speed cara of the load will be always below that of motor. And going to the starting devices at present I will not put any starting devices. So everything is done for this machine and similarly I will do this for the other two machines. This is a 200 HP motor so I will have to choose the library accordingly. So now I have modeled my motors depending upon the circuit parameters. The load model and the motor models are all updated. So now we can conduct the dynamic motor acceleration or the motor starting test over here. So previously we have given our events to turn on the motor 1 at 1 second, the motor 2 at 2 seconds and the synchronous motor at 3 seconds. So let us conduct this study over here okay we will i will close this over here and let us observe the motor starting timer slide over here so at one second we have the interest current for the motor one over here and as you can see this gets reduced with time then the motor starts to pick up speed and you can see this as reduce significantly compared to what it was at one second now at two second we have the inrush current for the motor 2 I'm going back to this three second you can see this has reduced as well as this has also reduced the inrush current for motor 1 and motor 2 uh, have been reduced then you can see the inrush current for the 
synchronous motor as well so this also gets reduced with time now let us go to some of the plot options over here so let us observe the bus voltage so now we get a dynamic curve of the voltage over here we can see at which point what the voltage has become compared to the static because in static we only had the load current values we did not get the inrush current values and the variation of the inrush current with time now let us observe the motor parameters as well i will go to the plots option over here select the motor and compare the slip of motor 2 and the synchronous motor and now we can see the slip performances of both these motors over here and what i am interested is to look at the starting current of both the motors over here so of these two motors terminal current i will also look at the line current and the speed as well so the motor terminal current this reaches to a peak of more than 600 amps of the so this is about 600 percentage of the full load current over here and this reduces over here and similar is the case of the singleness motor as well and this is the motor speeds since i am starting this from the 2 second we can observe the motor speed reaching to its rated speed after 3 to 4 seconds and this is the motor line current this is similar to the motor terminal current that i explained before and this is how you conduct a dynamic motor acceleration analysis in ETAP and in the next lesson we will learn to introduce starters and variable frequency drives in order to limit the inrush current so see you in the next lesson